Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Irene, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my very first pair of Stuart Weitzman boots. So if you're interested to see what I got, then let's get straight into this video. So I placed my very first order of Stuart Weitzman boots online from the Stuart Weitzman website like a few days ago. Their shipping was very fast. So I just cut open the box and haven't opened it yet. So there it is. And there is the beautiful purple tissue paper. It's not even tissue paper. It's like some sort of wrapping paper. I'm gonna get straight into it. So I ordered the, um, what are they? Stuart Weitzman over the knee Midland, Midland boots. So the reason why I wanted to come on here and film this kind of unboxing video and kind of talk about and share this with you guys is because when I was doing my research on this shoe, um, these are my receipts, I really couldn't find many videos on YouTube or many anywhere else for that matter regarding the Midland boots. There were tons on the Lowlands, which is basically the exact same sh boot, but with a shorter heel with almost no heel. And um, then there were tons on the Highland and, e and even the Thailand. But for the Midland, there was hardly anything. So I'm just going to, it literally comes like this. And I'm gonna take off the, oh my God, I can't do this. Take off the lid here. Watch me struggle, okay. So in here we have, oh my God, how am I gonna show you guys? Oh, it comes with a little buffer brush, I guess for the suede, a little care card. This is really awkward. And then a huge dust bag from the looks of it. Yeah, so this huge dust bag for I guess both pairs, both pair, both pairs, the whole pair of shoes, both shoes or both boots. So I'm gonna set that in the back there. And inside we finally get to the actual boots themselves. So they're very nicely packaged as they should be considering how pricey these guys are. I will go into the whole pricing and all the measurements afterwards because again, like I said, I couldn't find any really good information about any of that when I was doing my own research. So I decided I will be the one to provide that information in case anybody is out there who's looking for this pair of boots like I was. So comes really nicely individually wrapped in their own plastic. And I'm sorry, I'm wearing black today and I, maybe it's not the greatest to show you guys, but it, there they are. So again, these are the Stuart Weitzman Midland um, over the knee boots in black suede, as you can see. And this is, like the middle, mid-sized heel. So they have the Lowland, which is incredibly popular, and that is basically the one that has like no heel almost. It's got a very, very low heel. It's got like this much heel, half the size, I think. This one has a 40 millimeter heel or a 1.6 inch heel. Yeah, 1.6 inch block heel. What I really like about this pair of Midland boots compared to the Thailand or the Highland, which are the other two pairs that are basically the similar style but just different heel heights, is that this one, the block heel, is actually like this wipeable plastic or rubber or whatever it is that they use to make this block heel, it's not suede covered. So the reason why I went with this is because I wanted a little bit of a heel, but I didn't want anything too high because when I go out, sometimes I just don't want that high of a heel. Don't get me wrong, I do wear lots of block heels that are like three, four inches, but there are some days where I just don't want something as high, but I still want a little bit of length on my legs and not completely flat booty or over the knee boot. So this heel height was, in my opinion, the perfect heel for me and what I was looking for. And the bonus, like I mentioned earlier, is the fact that this block heel is not suede, so it's very easy to clean. You won't get salt stains on it, which is something that drives me crazy. The bottom of the shoe is rubber, so it's a rubber sole, and it's got grooves in it for better traction in the winter, which is really, really nice. And uh, it's just really, it looks really well made, actually. And so it has this, back tie feature detail, which is supposed to help keep the boot up on your leg and 
reduce the amount of slouching and falling that happens with a lot of over the knee boots, frankly. Right now, from first glance, and feeling the actual suede, this is a stretch suede, um, it feels like very high quality, as I mean it should because of the price point. Um, we might as well get straight into the price point and the nitty gritty, shouldn't we? For fellow Canadians, I am from Canada. This pair of Midland boots currently retails on Stuart Weitzman for 1225 Canadian dollars, which is insane but I didn't pay that much for it because I got it on sale. So right now they are having this winter style event, which is supposed to go on until December 18th or something like that. So I'm trying to get this out as soon as possible. So hopefully any viewers out there who are interested can still take advantage of this event. So this winter style event, you can apply the code chillout20 and it only applies to certain styles. And luckily, the Midlands are included in this sale. I was debating between the Midlands, the Thailands, and the Lowlands, the three pairs of the lower heels, like not the Highland. The Highland's a very, very high heel. I was debating between the three, and I finally settled it obviously on this pair, but I ordered it, and the next day I get a text from Stuart Weitzman for their text alerts for sales and promotions and stuff and they said that there was an even larger discount so the discount that I got was originally like a 15% discount for signing up for their emails and stuff I got a, a text the next day the very next day after placing an order saying that they had a 20% off sale so it's slightly more discounted and so I called them and I said hey I placed an order yesterday on the Midland boots on this this pair that is eligible for this uh, sale. Would you please just, you know, send me back the difference and refund me back the difference between the 15% and the 20% and they were their customer service was very helpful, very easy to deal with. I called them in the morning and I was able to get on the phone with them and get off the phone with them within like five, 10 minutes. It was very easy. The wait wasn't long. And so I got these off for 20% off, which is not bad. I can't complain because I've wanted these boots for so, so long. And I've always said, no, 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 I'll buy another pair of boots from Aldo's or spring or wherever and I have to say after so many years of looking for black suede over the knee boots nothing compares to the Stuart Weitzman suede their stretch suede is so thick and it just it's it stays on and it fits the leg because I've tried these on at Saks off or Saks Fifth Avenue there's nothing else that fits like it that hugs your legs quite as well as these do I know that looking at it it looks like it's really made for you know women or girls or whoever with ultra slim legs but I'm gonna tell you right now that after trying these on in person I have rather athletic legs I wouldn't say that they're very large but I definitely do have muscle in my calves like um, and I do have actual measurements so actually let's just get straight into the measurements so again these are 40 millimeter heel which is a 1.6 inch heel the shaft length right here I have it written down it is 58 centimeters so this whole length of this is 58 centimeters or equivalent to what 22.8 inches and then the circumference according to the website it is 35 centimeters or a 13.8 inch shaft circumference and I know that finding boots can be very difficult for a lot of women because for some stupid reason a lot of boots don't fit a lot of women's calves because they come so narrow which is I just never understood. I did my own measurements. Like I said, I don't by any means have the largest calves. I'm not saying I do, but I just wanted to give you guys a reference on how big my calves are. Maybe you can take a measurement of yours and just kind of see. These are stretch suede. So yeah, they're going to stretch and give a little bit. So for your reference, I personally have a 14 and a half inch calf circumference approximately, which is equivalent to like a 36.8 centimeter calf calf circumference i don't have teeny tiny thin legs and they fit in here really nicely and then at the top here i know that some people are worried about because of the way that the suede is so structured and really holds you in some people worry that the top of this boot here would kind of squeeze your legs and you know make your legs give it a bulge where it looks awkward like a overstuffed sauce overstuffed sausage essentially but from my measurements this boot it hits my um about two and a half inches above my knee at that point the circumference 
approximately two and a half inches above my knee. It measures at 17 and a half inches or 44.5 centimeters and it doesn't really give me a bulge. Mind you, I was trying these on with tights on so maybe that had something to do with it but from what I could see it really didn't really give a bulge and I just tied it to the back and it was perfect. It was really good. So let me just get into opening up the actual, the whole uh, pair of boots. I only opened up the one boot but here's the other one. So we can take a look at them together. Honestly, there's really not a whole lot to it. They're a pair of black over the knee boots. Obviously they are like the bougie version of them all, but I, like I said, I've tried so many, for so many years to, you know, forego getting these guys and instead just opt for some more affordable options, which I have done for the past five years or however long I've been looking at these, but I finally decided I would just get them. <laughs> So I'm just gonna take the stuffing out of them. I think there's more stuffing in the heel or in the foot area. So they come very well packaged. They don't come distorted or smushed or anything like that. So here are the two, the whole pair side by side. And there is again, the Midland heel height. And again, I'm so surprised that it was so hard for me to find any videos. Like I found a couple, but there really weren't many. And the ones that were there, it was mostly a very simple unboxing or, you know, like a try on, but they didn't really include a whole lot of information <laughs> regarding measurements. So I really wanted to give that to you guys here today. And so, yeah, this is what they look like. I really like, if you guys take a look, um, I'm just going to take them here I guess at the detail here you can see how the rubber sole right here it kind of has a lip so it comes over the suede um, it sticks out past the suede a little bit if you can see that I really like that detail because sometimes walking around like where I live there's always like they salt the roads and stuff all the time in the winter um because of all the snow and ice and the ice I like not the ice <laughs> this salt can create salt stains or stuff like that so like if you have that extra lip that comes out first before you hit the suede up top here it's more less likely to get salt stains and like you know damage and stuff like that to these boots so I really do like that detail and like I said the heel is a smooth surface so you can wipe it clean um, rather than getting worried about getting salt stains on it and getting it dirty and not being able to clean it. I do plan on spraying these boots down with some sort of protective spray that is obviously has to be safe for suede. Besides that, I'm so excited to try these and wear these. Okay, so I have to obviously come down to my front door. This is the only spot where there's a good like long mirror for me to show you guys what this boot looks like. These are the Midlands and see if you guys can see what they look like. Even with me bending my knees and stuff, usually like when I'm wearing over the knee boots, when I bend my knees, they immediately come sliding down because of where they hit me. They hit like a little bit lower and they don't hug the legs as nicely as these do. So when I'm bending my knees and like going up or down stairs, I always know that wearing the other pairs, I'm gonna have to hike them up. But I feel like with these ones, they stay on very well and I love how they look right now. They look so cute with this. Um, as like a little Christmas holiday outfit. But yeah, I hope this helps. This is what they look like. And the tie in the back, I don't know if you guys can see. There it is. So that's all I have for you guys for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that if you are considering these boots, I hope you found it helpful with the measurements I've provided. And if you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I would really appreciate all of the support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.